Hello, PCCS. Today is Wednesday, October 28th. This is Nick Brandon, Executive Director of Communications and Marketing. And here's this week's LPT and 3 podcast. Let's dive into this week's news. Okay, so obviously the podcast usually comes out on Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. We appreciate your patience. This week was a very unique week for PCCS because we actually had back-to-back Board of Education meetings this past Monday and Tuesday. So we appreciate you waiting for the podcast, but we wanted to make sure and get through those meetings to bring you the most up-to-date information about where the decision-making process is, particularly for the area of secondary in-person learning. During the board workshop on Monday night, there was a lot of discussion about the different models that are being considered to return our 6th grade through 12th grade students back to in-person learning. The discussion ranged through a variety of topics, and the Board of Education was set up to make a vote during the Tuesday night regular meeting held at 7 p.m. at Discovery Middle School. So during Tuesday night's meeting, the Board of Education approved a resolution that says that grades 6 through 12 will continue receiving instruction in a fully virtual model through the end of the first semester. Now that date is January 22nd of 2021. The resolution also states that opportunities for in-person support will be provided at the building level for students with academic and social emotional needs. And that would also include specialized classes throughout the remainder of the first semester. It's important for our secondary families to be aware of this decision. And during this time, the district will continue to monitor COVID-19 transmission data and will continue to work towards a plan that will include this return date in person for secondary students of January 22nd, 2021. We will keep you posted through all of our communication outlets if there's any developments, including right here on the LPT and 3 podcast. More good news came from Plymouth Canton Educational Park last week when the district found out that all three PCEP high schools, Canton High School, Salem High School, and Plymouth High School, were each named as 2020 Great Schools College Success Award honorees. This is an amazing honor for the park. PCEP is a really incredible place when it comes to preparing students for the next level of education. And that's why a College Success Award is so fitting for a place that really gives students so many opportunities, whether it be academic or extracurricular, to grow and mature and thrive. The College Success Awards were launched in 2018 and they honor schools that excel in ensuring that students prepare for college, enroll in college, and succeed once they get there. PCP is among the 2,150 plus award-winning schools from 29 states, all of which have demonstrated a successful track record of graduating students who later enroll in two or four-year colleges. Congratulations to everyone at PCP, including our amazing teachers, our excellent administrators, but more than anything, our passionate and dedicated students who truly make the park what it is today. Just continuing our series for how to find information on the district website, we want to continue to respond to your feedback that the community could use some more support on where to find certain aspects of information on the district website. The COVID-19 toolbox has become an extremely important area of the site for our community, particularly as students are now transitioning back to in-person learning. It contains a lot of information about promoting healthy behaviors while at school, including important content about the daily home screenings, what to do if you have symptoms, COVID-19 facts from the CDC, a lot of helpful visuals that you can look at to best prepare for in-person learning, and then, of course, information about how to manage positive cases of COVID-19 illnesses at PCCS schools. What we have done is link this to the homepage of the PCCS website. It's actually right now the very first thing you'll see when you hit the district homepage, which hopefully will make it more convenient for you to find this information should you need it throughout the 2020-21 school year. Our goal with the website is to give you all the information you need in as convenient a way as possible, and we'll continue to work to do that to best meet the needs and the expectations of our great community. That'll do it for this week's news. We will be back on regular schedule next Tuesday with the weekly LPT and 3 podcast. Thanks so much for your continued support of Plymouth Canton Community Schools, where all students learn, prepare, and thrive.